Hello all, it's Antica here again and I have another mini to share with you all. Uh, this mini was made using a tutorial by Pepper Phenomena and it is called Photo Wallet I believe. Uh, I used craft cardstock to create this. Um, there are no magnets in this whatsoever, which I like. <laughs> and I used papers from Mint Tape Papers along with jewels from Pretty Pink Posh. And the paper collection I used is called Bloomville from Mint Tape Papers. And we have these beautiful little cut parts double-sided papers. I think this particular paper is my favourite actually. And beautiful florals, bright happy colours, stunning images. This lovely, absolutely gorgeous paper really and I love the texture on this paper. I want this one. I think it's my favourite background. <laughs> Stunning. And as always, you get these beautiful cut apart sheets. Well, this is the 6x6 pad, but I used the 12x12 paper pad for the album. Uh, the album itself measures approximately 9.5 by more than 6.5. And it's about half an inch wide. This has loads and loads of pockets anywhere. So let's just get started and have a look see. And I used these pretty jewels. I think these are pretty pink Porsche. They might actually be Eyes. Oh, I better check. These might be wrong. These might not be pretty pink posh. Yep, I was wrong. These are actually Studio Kacha jewels. Beautiful iridescent ones. Studio Kacha. My bad. So let's have a look. See, this is the front of the mini, and then the back has this stunning image. I just love this image and I just didn't want to cut this apart so I was able to have it here in all its color Now here at the front you have this cut apart uh, well it's a fussy cut from the cut apart sheet and some jewels around here and then the first thing you do is to unlock the mini take these two journaling cards and then I just drew these lines to make sure that your journaling has a bit of a frame. And then this opens. Now, this kept opening when I had these to stop it. So I added a bit of Velcro to make sure that it stays shut. Like so. And then you have another journaling spot of automat whichever you prefer. And here at the front you can also add photos or journaling spots because you can actually slide them underneath which is quite handy. So this is the flip open up and then we go this way. Now I'll start by having a look-see here. Now these, this mini has loads of spots for photos. Uh, it will fit four by six photos and smaller anywhere. And actually you could actually fit a larger one five by seven, these bigger flaps, but so you have this photo mat here with my favorite river. And you open up like so and you have this little pocket here. And you have this journaling card and behind it I've tucked several, four, two of the 3 by 4 cards and you could actually have a whole photo underneath but I thought this probably would be great for that journaling that we like to do 
when we add photos to minis. But of course you can actually fit a 4x6 photo beneath that if you so wish. And then you have these three layered pockets here, tiny little shallow ones. I created this little from a uh, journey spot from one of the uh, papers. And again, have this frame below. And then two three by four parts, which you can use as photo mats or journaling spots. And like so. And then even more three by four cards, generally spotter photos. But of course you can put a photo underneath here if you so wish. It is quite the long tock pocket. So you can definitely do that if you so wish. Now, let's have a look at the bigger flaps. Now here you have those huge flaps and these are actually yeah, seven by six. So you could fit uh, I've got this one a five by seven photo. Now here you have a tuck spot and a journaling spot. And of course you can use this tuck spot to put a four by six photo underneath. And flip that over and you have a place for four by six photo and journaling. And then I added this little fussy cut here as well. And like I said, you could put here a large photo or several small ones to make it into a layout. And here you have the same as the other side. 4x6 photo, journaling spot with a bit of an image. And again, I mean these papers are so gorgeous. I just didn't want to cover anything up. <laughs> and behind that, you have this little photo mat or journaling spot beautiful image and I decided to put this little frame for journaling or a row of smaller photos. And then you have this beautiful texture and this fussy cut image. And same thing for here. A 3 by 4 photo mat and then a journaling spot. And then you have another pocket here decorated with these pretty little images pocket and a photo mat and this flips down to reveal this beautiful pattern paper which can be covered up with a photo if you want and then you have these little tiny flaps 4x6 photo back and front and the 4x6 photo back and front and then a large pocket here I have added several photo mats to this pocket. Here yeah, is a 4x6 photo mat, a 4x6 photo mat with a bit of decorative edge, and then a journaling spot on the back. And then here, a rather large photo mat, which here you have 4x6 journaling spot, and then pattern paper. And this is the largest photo mat this one and this is seven and a half by six inches That's my little mini for now. So thanks so much for stopping by. See you later.